What we have here is our Raspberry Pi. I've got uh, two of the leads connected to an LED. I'll include a circuit diagram at the end of the video so you don't have to worry about trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, then I've got my, my uh, Hall Effect switch uh, coming out here and it's connected to uh, a VCC ground and then sense and I'll do a close up on that. Um, and what else is interesting? Oh, in the background, you can see the program. We'll give it a start, and then we will do a quick demo of it. Run the module. Okay, so um, it says Control-C to quit. Uh, that'll quit it nicely. The first line we see down here is telling us that the system is active. It's going to do a check every 30 seconds to make sure the system is still working. We'll take our little magnet, and if we get it oriented correctly, you can see that there's a red light that comes on on the uh, on the Hall Effect switch sensor board, and then there's a green light behind. The red light is controlled directly by the switch, and the green light is controlled by the Pi, a routine in there, which tells you that the uh, Pi is getting the message. And then in the back, you can see that the, uh, back here, you can see the uh, time on and off. So what you could use this for is you could use it for like uh, seeing if a uh, machine was on, uh, seeing if a window or door was open and for how long. Uh, you could count the number of, of uh, repetitions uh, that a, a machine made. And I'm also going to use this to make a, a tachometer to measure the speed of rotation. That's a little different, but yeah, any of those functions. Okay, let's do the close-up on the Hall Effect switch and go from there. This is the Hall Effect switch or sensor, this black thing up here. Um, note that, I don't know if you can see it, but the two of the sides are beveled like this, which tells you the orientation of the device. Okay, and in this orientation what we have is the first wire is ground, that would be yellow, and the second wire is VCC. I'm using three volts from the Pi. A lot of people use 5 volts. You cannot use 5 volts directly with a Pi without doing uh, voltage splitting on that. So uh, be warned there, you will ruin your Pi if you hook it up to 5 volts and connect it directly in. And the last one is the sense pin, which actually is the thing that switches on and off when there's a magnetic field present. Let's take a look at the software behind this. This is a, a very simple uh, program. All it's going to do is detect when it detects a magnetic field, it's going to turn on an LED, and when it stops detecting it, the LED goes off. Okay, it's written for Python 3. Uh, it turns on an LED that is connected to pin 36 and grounded on pin 34. Uh, the Hall Effect is a switch or a sensor is connected to pin 7 for sensing, uh, 17 for power. I use 3 volts. I have seen people use 5 volts. If you connect 5 volts directly to the pins of your Pi, you will kill your Pi, so don't do that. Uh, ground is 25. We're going to import time and date time, so we want the sleep function and we want date time. Uh, we're going to import the RPI GPIO because we're going to use those pins. Uh, we are defining the sense pin to be pin 7, as we said earlier. The LED pin as pin 36. We're going to use GPIO board mode, so when I'm talking about the numbers, the pin numbers, I'm using board mode. The GPIO setup, the sense pin is in, and the LED is out. Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. This function, this detect function, is what does all of the heavy lifting in the program. This is where most of the logic happens and uh, the detect and channel and channel is based on this right here on the GPIO add event detect so this is the interrupt we'll get to that in a minute so first I grab the time and the date from the date time function and I'm getting uh, over there you can see hours minutes seconds year month day and day of week that's not necessary it's just kind of a little add-on then I do a little bit of logic to see if the GPIO input sense pin is equal to 1. So if it's high, then I uh, turn off the LED. I print detect off date and time. Otherwise, I 
turn on the LED, I set it to true, I print detect on and then at and then the time date, and then I return back to the main function. Okay, so let's scroll down again. This interrupt statement is what is monitoring the Hall effect switch and when the state of the Hall effect switch changes either going up or going down as you can see here I detect it on both uh, if the magnetic field is increasing or if it's decreasing then this is triggered and what happens is that it will go back to our subroutine called detect and it will do what's inside that subroutine I included bounce time in there, it's probably not necessary, but I left it in there from, uh, from another program. Uh, it's not hurting anything, let's put it that way. Okay, this, this is the uh, main routine. I did a, a control C to quit, so it prints this statement. And because of the logic of the program, you can press control C and exit nicely rather than just breaking it. Typically, this would be an infinite loop, a while true. Uh, I didn't do it that way uh, because, well, it's just easier for me to do while I'm setting it up and testing it. So typically this statement would be a while true, and so you need some nice way to exit that. Uh, okay, so back to it. Uh, the first statement is try, and then we're going to go down here and we're going to do for x in range of 0 to 1200. Uh, again, we can loop forever. I grab the time and date from the string and I print system active check and then the time and date. So every 30 seconds, because of this sleep time, every 30 seconds is gonna loop back and check to make sure that the system is still active. So I'm still checking on whatever uh, I'm monitoring with the uh, Hall effect switch. And I can put other RPI functions and code in here. So that's kind of the way I did this is, uh, the reason I did this is so that I can put other statements in here and do other things. This is made to be expanded. That's what I'm trying to say, kind of a long-winded way of saying that. Okay, so it's gonna loop through here either forever or for 1200 as I've got it. And then if you press Control C while this is running, it will jump down here to the accept. It will sleep for two seconds. It'll kind of let everything settle out. Uh, GPI output, the LED pin is going to be turned off, so I'm going to turn off my LED. Uh, I'm going to uh, reset the interrupt, so make that go back to its default state. GPIO cleanup, I'm going to put all those uh, GPIO pins back to their default state. I'm going to print done to let the user know that the program exited nicely. And that's it. So that's how this uh, software works. So this circuit can be used for anything from uh, controlling a robot to monitoring machinery uh, to perhaps building your own home burglar alarm system. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your RPI experimentation.